Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how you can set up an HMail server running on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. So from this page, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this subscription page. So from here you want to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Once the subscription validation is done, you want to click on continue to configuration. After that, you want to choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After being satisfied with the setting, simply click on continue to launch. And then you would be brought to this page from where you get two different options to launch the EC2 virtual machine. Now you can launch the EC2 virtual machine from this website or from the EC2 management console. So I'm going to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab, we can customize our virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as HMail server and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. And after that, choose the instance type according to your requirements and then choose a key pair for login by the creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that would be requiring for establishing an RDP connection. And then you can leave the network settings as default. And when satisfied, simply click on launch instance and then wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on view all instances and then simply click on your virtual machine and then choose connect. After that, you're going to switch over to the RDP client tab and as you can see that we have the public DNS, the username, but the password is missing. So click on get password. Now on this page, you want to browse to your key pair, which is the CIS, but for you, it would be different. So browse to your key pair. And as you can see that you would be able to see the contents of that key pair file. But what you want to do is you want to click on decrypt password. And then you have a password written over here. So now we can connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. So hit windows and type in remote desktop connection, open that up. And in the computer URL, you're simply going to type in this public DNS. And then you're going to click on show more options. And then for the username, you're going to type in or copy this username, which is administrator and then click on connect. When you're prompted about the password, simply copy this password and paste that in and then click on OK. After that, simply click on yes and wait for the connection to be established. And once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Now, once inside the Windows Server, you want to configure the HMail configuration. So for that, simply click on this icon that says HMail Admin and launch this. And then from this tab, you're going to select on localhost and then click on connect. And it is going to ask you for the HMail server password. Now this password is the ID of your instance, which is written right over here. So type this in and then simply click on OK. And then it is going to log you in into this HMail administrative panel. And in this panel, you want to start by adding in your domain on which you have an HMail server or mailing service. Simply click on add domain and then you're going to simply type in your domain right over here. For example, you have the domain as something.com. So type that in and then click on save. Now you can see that our domain has been added. Now the next step might be to add some user accounts into this something.com domain. So click on accounts and then click on add and then add in the details of the users or accounts on this domain. For example, if I want an admin account on something.com, then simply type it in as admin at something.com and then the password and then click on save. And if you want to add in more accounts, then simply click on account and then click on add once more. Type in the account name or address and then type the password. After that, click on save and your account has been added. To make sure that this HMail server is properly working on incoming and outgoing mails, you want to set up SMTP rules. For that, simply click on this small plus icon right next to the settings, which is going to expand the settings. And then you want to expand protocols and then click on SMTP. Now inside this SMTP page, you are going to head over to the delivery of email tab. And in this tab, you're going to provide the local host name of your domain or on which the mailing service is enabled. So it would be something like mail dot and then the domain name something.com. 
it might be different for you but no matter what the host name is you're going to type that in over here after that you want to set up the configuration for SMTP relayer. So in here, you're going to type in the host name of your ISP's email server along with your credentials on that server. Let's type that in as mail.something.com and then click on this button that says server requires authentication and then type in the credentials for an account on the SMTP's email server. Once that is done, all you need to do is click on save and your HTML server has been set up. Now, this also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up HTML server on Amazon Web Services. And also we have included the link for the official documentation by HTML server on how to set up the HTML server on Windows. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.